Hi folks, welcome again. Thank you so much for coming, by the way. And in this video, we are going to have another case of reservoir simulation using Team Navigator software. And today's topic is particularly interesting. It's about modeling or simulating hydraulic fractures within our model. All right, so again, we will use sample case from Team Navigator. It's very good of them you know, providing the users with very, very, you know, useful examples. And yeah, we, we are going to discuss about that in this particular video. All right, so we are looking at our model, two-dimensional map, pressure and saturation of oil, and then gas and others. Actually, there is no special thing about the grid itself okay but maybe we can check the permeability we are currently looking at the roof view and let's change it to average okay even in average value the permeability is not that low so yeah but still you can conduct hydraulic fracturing okay so we can change it to 3d view like this and maybe if we are talking about drilling or if you are talking about production performance we can show either saturation of oil maybe and pressure of course but the pressure is uniform across the reservoir but we can also check the fluid in place mobile in place for example but by the way that's not the main thing the main thing that we are going to discuss or we are going to learn is of course about the fracture. And currently, if you look at the, the compass here pointing towards us and the point is directed to the north, but I think I prefer click on this one, flip vertically. So that side, that direction will be our north. Okay, and then that's for the review. And let's check the files click on this one and then you see here currently we have no user file right but later on we will produce user user file because we will create our fracture and if you look at this master data run spec nothing special title metric unit unit out oil water this gas okay Nothing about fracture here, okay? Maybe in future video, I also will show you about generating fractures using keyword, okay? In this one, we will generate the fractures using the, the user interface. Okay, here there is no keyword that tells us about the fracture. And grid, we have grid ink perm x, perm y, perm z, and then props. Oh, this is important, the relative permeability, okay. This is the relative permeability table. Ah, this one, This these are important. Flow function, propans, but we will talk about this later. Okay, so that's it. And before placing our, you know, our fractures, we first will run the model okay i want to show you the comparison of the production profile before and after the fracturing okay currently we are calculating hopefully it's not that it's not slow all right okay so yeah we are currently looking at the 3d view of mobile in place distribution and now let's discuss a little bit more while the model is running. So we can go to fluid properties here. Yeah. And as usual, we have relative permeability table, PVT, water, oil, and gas, rock compressibility, density information. Okay, again, this is the relative permeability. All right. And here, yeah. or maybe this one first, propane. 